I'm Bishop T.D. Jakes, inviting you to unwind your mind and spirit with tonight's sleep song. Blessed are those who keep justice. Blessed is one who does what is right at all times. Psalm 106, verse 3. Dear Heavenly Father, I am thankful for your unwavering love and forgiveness even when I fall so short. Your faithfulness throughout the generations is a true testament to your promise-keeping nature, and I rest in the knowledge that you will never leave nor forsake me. Lord, I ask for your peace to surround me as I close my weary eyes tonight. I surrender all my worries, anxieties, and troubles to you, knowing you will see me through every season of life. Thank you, Lord, for your constant provision, grace, and mercy. May your love be felt deeply within my heart as I drift off into peaceful sleep tonight. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I'm Bishop T.D. Jakes, inviting you to unwind your mind and spirit with tonight's sleep psalm. Prepare your heart for this devotional from the book of Psalms, guiding you into a restful embrace under his watchful eyes. Thank you for joining me, Bishop T.D. Jakes, for tonight's episode of the Sleep Psalms podcast. If this episode blessed you, follow the podcast so you never miss a nightly encouragement. Hello, I'm Grace. For tonight's Sleep Psalm by Pray.com, we will be meditating on Psalm 106. Take a deep breath. Allow your lungs to completely fill with air. Hold your breath for a few seconds. Exhale slowly and release any tension in your body. As you take your next breath, focus on the areas of the body that are still tense. Take a few deep breaths. With each inhale, focus on tensing a different area of the body. With each exhale, focus on relaxing a different area of the body. Breathe in and out until your stress has left your bones, until your muscles and joints have softened, until your body feels completely relaxed. Now focus on opening your chest and heart. Make sure your back is flat and straight and your shoulders are back. Breathe in the joy of the Lord. Breathe out your anxiety. Breathe in the peace of the Lord. Breathe out your fears. As you breathe in and out, allow his presence to fill you with his light, warming your heart, nourishing your bones, calming your mind. As you get ready to listen to God's word, focus on his goodness, on his love, Focus on the mighty deeds he has performed in your life. Breathe in and out. Ask God to draw you close to him and to speak to your heart as you lay down to sleep. The Bible reminds us God loves us no matter what, and he is always faithful, 
even in the times when we are far away from him tonight find rest and comfort in his goodness and faithfulness Psalm 106 from the King James Version says praise ye the Lord O give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord who can shew forth all his praise blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doeth righteousness at all times remember me O Lord with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people O visit me with thy salvation that I may see the good of thy chosen that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation that I may glory with thine inheritance we have sinned with our fathers we have committed iniquity we have done wickedly our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt they remembered not the multitude of thy mercies but provoked him at the sea even at the Red Sea nevertheless he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known he rebuked the Red Sea also and it was dried up so he led them through the depths as through the wilderness and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy and the waters covered their enemies there was not one of them left then believed they his words they sang his praise they soon forgot his works they waited not for his counsel but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert and he gave them their request but sent leanness into their soul they envied Moses also in the camp and Aaron the saint of the Lord the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Abraham and a fire was kindled in their company the flame burned up the wicked they made a calf of Horeb and worshiped the molten image thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass they forgot God their Savior which had done great things in Egypt wondrous works in the land of Ham the terrible things by the Red Sea therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath lest he should destroy them yea they despised the pleasant land they believed not his word but murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness to overthrow their seed also among the nations and to scatter them in the lands they joined themselves also unto Balpeor and ate the sacrifices of the dead thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions and the plague break in upon them then stood up Phineas and executed judgment and so the plague was stayed and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore they angered him also at the waters of strife so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes because they provoked his spirit so that he spake unadvisably with his lips they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works and they served their idols which were a snare unto them yea they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood even the blood of their sons and their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan and the land was polluted with blood thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance and he gave them into the hand of the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand many times did he deliver them but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives save us O Lord our God and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name 
and to triumph in thy praise blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting and let all the people say amen praise ye the Lord meditate on the everlasting love of the Lord reflect on his grace and mercy he freely gives to his children know because his love was poured out for you and his grace poured upon you you will share in the joyful inheritance of the Lord lift your spirit to praise the Lord for his goodness and faithfulness satisfy the craving of your soul with his salvation close your eyes and clear your mind of any distractions take a deep breath focus on the power and strength of the Lord exhale slowly and let go of any anxious thoughts fill your mind with thoughts of the many miracles you have heard about in God's Word and of the miracles you have witnessed in your life allow these thoughts to draw you closer to God to take you to a quiet place where you can rest peacefully through the night think of a time in your life when you rebelled against God or when you put other people and possessions above the Lord acknowledge any unconfessed sin confess any idols you are still holding on to ask for his forgiveness and for his mercy take a deep breath be filled with his love and grace exhale slowly and release any sin and shame you are still holding on to completely surrender to the Lord know he is always faithful to forgive us and bless us even when we are not faithful to him rejoice in his salvation praise him for his love and mercy thank the Lord for the times he has been faithful to you thank him for the mercy and love he has shown you throughout your life think of a person who is going through a difficult time and needs to be reminded of God's promises pray they will turn to him and remember the great things he has done in their life pray he will protect them with his strength and preserve them with his faithfulness cry out to the Lord ask for his provision and protection ask for his mercy and grace lift your requests surrender your struggles and find rest in trusting God with your life pray for God to work in a mighty way in a specific area of your life pray for his healing and restoration pray for God to put his word on your heart so that you will carry his truth with you wherever you go pray he will remind you of his faithfulness to keep his promises pray for God to deliver you from your fears and worries that are weighing you down pray he will help you trust him during the difficult days and dark nights breathe in his peace breathe out your stress and tension breathe in his goodness breathe out your fears and doubts take a deep cleansing breath be filled with the Lord's presence as you exhale relax your body and clear your mind allow God's presence to comfort you tonight as you sleep